Just woke up. We're probably gonna go outside or do some yoga. Do some yoga today. I am free, yeah, yeah. Come water me. Oh, oh. love you so, but if you don't, I have to leave. Oh, no. I am free, yeah, yeah. Come water me. Oh, oh. love you so, but if you don't, I have to leave. Oh, oh, oh. Very simple items. Socks with grippers, um, it works really well for when you're sweating or doing hot yoga. You don't want your toes to slip. Um, if you use a yoga mat or not, you just want to make sure that, you know, you can really grip it and you feel comfortable and your toes are like separated. So it's like really, it's really nice. It's like you're putting on your football gear. It's like you're getting ready for a sport. Um, right here we have the foam roller. Now this one I got um, from Lululemon. I will put this in the description what kind this one is because the good thing about this is it comes out and this part here, oh my goodness, like so for your back, you know, um, when you foam roll, it really gets the, gets the deep tissue and you can really feel it, especially if you play sports or not even play sports. If you're a person in the office, you know, whether you're standing all day or sitting all day, sitting all day, you want to make sure that you can roll out, you know, like your calves, like your your lower body, and the grooves really get into the actual pain that you're feeling all the way to your shoulders and your back. Of course, I have more advanced tools that I may use, but I think um, the cheapest route for your body to start with would be um, this type of foam roller. There's many out there that provide the deep tissue roll. This is not the only one, uh, but you would want to start with something like this, get a yoga mat. If you're looking to know where I got these nice socks, I will also put um, this in my description along with my yoga mat, um, a certain kind. Um, why I think this one can sustain like sweat, so it's good for like hot yoga. These are good grippers for your toes. Um, if you don't want a yoga mat, um, some people are just free people and they just need some grippers on their feet. So of course, I will definitely let you guys know where I purchased these items. You know, you guys can do this stuff in your living room. A lot of people see me working out and they think like I'm working out every day. It's not that I'm working out every day, I'm doing something every day. Whether it be eating, whether it be yoga, whether it be running, the body is meant to be in full motion and stretch um, all the time especially if you are a person who works in the office and you're sitting all day especially if you work in harsh conditions like a manufacturing plant or your construction worker you want to stretch you want to really ease the body and sometimes when we get angry or depressed it's because our body has all this negativity and negative energy that we've worn on ourselves for the entire day so take the time to get organized, um, maybe do it on the weekends. Maybe you pick a day that you do and commit to this and watch how fun, exciting it is. You can do it with your kids. Um, there's yoga for children. There's many things you can do to uplift yourself naturally, holistically. So these are certain mantras that I do, um, certain practices that I enjoy doing. And I never look at them as, um, why am I doing this? This sucks. You have to find your own enjoyment and style of doing what would make you happy, overall fit, fresh, breathing, you know, that prana, that energy, the oxygen that's in our food that goes to our brain and that keeps us robust and energetic. We always have to do something every single day. Okay. All right. So I, we're going to do yoga this morning. And we're gonna watch Yoga Studio. So I have an Apple TV, and typically I wake up, drink my water, get some tea, and then I put on the Yoga Studio. I did look, and it is on your cell phone. Oh, boom. So you can download it on your cell phone, prop your cell phone up. But we're gonna do yoga from our living room before we hit our run, run, run. Okay, so I like to do yoga because it just opens the body up. You're stretching, you're breathing. Sometimes I use my yoga blocks, but for today we're just gonna do like maybe five or 10 minutes of yoga. Um, you really don't need a lot, but if you prefer going to an actual yoga class, you can mingle with friends, you can do hot yoga. It's all up to you what you wanna do. So 
Today, this is just for busy people like myself um, who are on the go and we don't have time to just take a yoga class or you have kids or you have a husband or you're an entrepreneur and you just want to do yoga. Okay, so get you a nice mat. A nice mat that's going to make you feel happy and excited. So, let's get started. Over time, I learned that every morning I should start my day with some sort of meditation. A place where I feel excited yet calm. And the best time for me to do this would be in the morning before my day starts. Opening my body and starting with positivity, I began to understand that I need to slow down, become more patient, allow my anxiety and all my restless thoughts to reside somewhere else. I learned that just taking 10 to 15 minutes of my day could improve my overall efficiency in all areas. Close your shoulders. Take a deep breath in and exhale, hinge forward. Plant your hands on the mat and step back into downward dog. Take a moment to reach your heels towards the mat here one at a time to stretch out your calves and hamstrings. Okay. 
you. Take Another. a deep breath in and exhale. Walk your hands forward. Inhale, slowly walk your hands back to come upright. And exhale, step your left foot back to downward dog. Back to downward dog. And for the other side, bring your right knee towards the front of your mat. Extend your left leg long behind. Relax down over your right leg. Close your eyes and consciously soften any tension you feel in your hips or lower back. Imagine you can breathe directly into anywhere you feel tightness and release with each exhalation. to come up, dog for a few breaths. And when you're ready, lower your knees to the mat. And bringing your legs forward, come into a comfortable cross-legged seated position. Stretch out after your run and improve your overall health. 